What better way to start day 22 than with a barrel proof bourbon? Yes. Hey, welcome back Whiskey Questers to another episode of my Whiskey Quest Advent Calendar here going on. Ah, pretty, pretty good run so far. I've enjoyed uh, pretty much all of them, seriously. And today we have E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. This is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey and this is the 2020 release. Bottled at 65.15% ABV, that's 130.3 proof. Wow, this is gonna be a treat right here. Now, being a high proof bourbon here, I poured this in the glass, I let it sit there. I think it's been sitting for a good 20 minutes or so. So, you know, just giving it some time to get, get some of that alcohol to evaporate here. So this one, like I said, it's a barrel proof bourbon and it's an annual release from the Buffalo Trace Distillery. This will cost you, if you can get it for that price, MSRP on this is $70. Yeah, $70, what a, what a great price, right? Well, like I said, if you can get it for that because then you got these people you got these people that want to flip make some cash on the side and they're gonna be selling this for way more than it's worth so yeah I saw this online for $500 not good not good at all all right well this was given to me by my good buddy Richie C from um, uh, you know I met him first he subscribed to my YouTube channel and then saw him on Instagram really really huge fan of the whiskey community this guy supports everybody and you know people like him is what makes makes uh this thing all the much better to do so here's to richie thanks for sharing this buddy let's see what we get on the nose right here quick note about this uh distillate here this is using their low rye mash bill so I believe, yeah, this is the same mash bill that they use for their regular Buffalo Trace bottle. So it's like less than 10% rye in it. Alright, on the nose. Yeah, letting it sit in the glass for that long really helped it because when I first poured it and I smelled it, I was like, ooh, yeah. No more nose hairs, that's for sure. <laughs> So yeah, now I get all the sweet flavors coming out of it. Lots of honey, lots of caramel, lots of barrel, but not overly done. Nice citrus. It pretty much smells like the Buffalo Trace, to be honest. Just a little, just a little bit more amped up. It's a little bit of a coconut coming out as well. Not too much, so I'm hoping I get a little bit more on the palate there. A little bit of red apples also. And then that barrel keeps coming through. All right, color in this. This is a nice dark, like dark, dark amber kind of color. Really nice. This is straight from the barrel, guys. This is uncut, unfiltered. Just pour it in there. Raw, yes. All right. Awesome color. Let's see if I can get it closer. Get that to focus. Focus. See that? See that color, guys? Awesome. All right. Let's get a taste in here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Richie. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Woo! This is great juice. <laughs> Just like, what the f You know, for it to be 130.3 proof, it doesn't, doesn't kill your taste buds like some other ones. That's, it's actually smooth for that proof. You don't get that alcohol burn. All you feel is the creaminess, the layered, 
flavors there with the chocolate. I do get some coconut on here. So the chocolate, coconut, caramel, toffee, leather, orange peel. That barrel chart, but it's not like, like a super heavy barrel chart. This is just a light toasted barrel char kind of flavor. Excellent, excellent. Now, because this was an advent calendar, I was just trying to rush them through. I haven't been doing what I like to do most, and that's adding a drop or two of, of H2O here, some water. If you add some water to this, it's sure to open. I'm just gonna one more, because that was a pretty big drop, but it's 130 proof, it can handle it. Adding water to your whiskeys is gonna do two things. It's gonna improve it, or it's gonna make it boring, honestly. So. Give it a try with all your whiskeys. You never know what's gonna happen unless you try it. People have been watching my channel for a while. We're probably dying for me to say those words. <laughs> Watch my other reviews. You will know what I mean. All right, that's waking up a little bit more coconut on the nose, but everything's still there. I don't think it changed, honestly. Not on the nose. So let's see what we got on the palate. Cheers, everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's perfect at the barrel proof. It's just perfect. Like I said, it's for that proof, it's pretty smooth. But once you add some water, it's still creamy. You still get all those flavors. They're just a little bit more softer. So maybe, maybe if you're not used to that high, high proof, just add a little bit of water and it'll and it's palatable but it's it, it just remained the same i don't think it opened up or destroyed any of the flavors they're just softer pretty much awesome this is where's that guy so annual release if you're lucky enough to find one maybe a raffle or something and you're wondering if it's worth the 70 dollars hell yeah it's worth the seventy dollars, um, and it being a and like a limited release, and it's everybody looks for this. Honestly, if I saw this for maybe a hundred to one hundred and ten, I would pay that just because of that, but no more than that because I just don't want to contribute to you know the secondary market and and, and paying those crazy amount of monies. So. Oh, beautiful, beautiful whiskey. Now well, that's it, guys. That's it for today. I told you guys it was going to be a good one. Richie, thanks again, brother. This was a treat. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get a bottle of this. So, But if I do, I'll make sure I share some with you, buddy. All right. That's it for today, guys. See you guys tomorrow. We're getting closer to that day. Getting closer to that day. And the last two whiskeys are going to be... Just wait and see. Cheers, everybody. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.